Hey, how's it going, all you lovely people at Shut Door or Door Shutter? Coming back to you with episode 56 of the Direwolf 20 1.20 mod pack. I do apologize for not having a video out yesterday, but I was doing a lot of just AFKing, trying to get uh, bees figured out. And it's what we're going to kind of focus on today, uh, but not like breeding them or anything like that. We are still going to save that for a live stream. Um, but we're going to talk about uh, getting some of this kind of figured out so we can actually get this to be a better state. Because basically what we're doing is we are currently getting it to where we can breed these uh, top tier bees, which are just green car uh, carpenter bees that we then squish into uh, genetic material, basically. And so, of course, we got productivity very high, weather tolerance any, and behavior metaternal. And uh, we, you know, are cranking on that. And quickly, just so we can show how this is done, of course, the piston... The bottler, where I think we've shown this uh, on a live stream and during an episode, but we're just gonna, you know, come over here occasionally with all of these guys and drop them down to then get all of their squished bee material. And every single one of these is gonna guarantee a certain percentage of those three traits, right? And each one of them, of course, is going to guarantee that the trait actually comes out as well. So it's a very good thing. We're actually gonna grab a chest here. We're just going to drop all of these in here. And this is actually exporting currently out into a golden barrel. Um, of course, I've been getting draconic dust. Also, I wanted to point out I missed something with these draconic bees. They actually can breed. We just need draconic dust. So that is something that I did miss. And apparently um, with some of these bees, not all of them, of course, because like I wish it would tell you that information here just because then it would be consistent. But for most of the other bees, it should tell us the exact same information. But yeah, so all of these guys are currently uh, top tier draconic bees, basically. And we are going to try and get the block variations here in a little bit. Um, but we'll get to that here in a minute. So with all the genetic material, then we're just going to basically go over to the genetic indexer and toss these all in here. And I have seen there's some issues with this genetic indexer, gene indexer thing, where it just straight up does not actually sort or combine. Uh, if you kind of just inventory sort it, it seems to kind of fix it, but I'm not 100% sure uh, on the cause of that. It's a little finicky, but for the most part, it works. Let's go grab some more here. There we go. And we'll toss the rest of these in here. So we're going to kind of get a handful of these probably in that live stream on Saturday to get, um, you know, the osmium, the aluminum, all of those different types of bees. Our Fluix bee, we're going to try and get a new one of those. Another Prismarine bee or five kind of thing. Um, but we are going to look at one thing today, which is actually getting um, kind of these, these products, right? The actual honeycombs and bottles and everything pushed into um actual bottles because i need the honeycomb to basically become honey in a bottle because we need honey treats and things like that uh the only issue that i see is we really don't have a good way to get honeycomb because the bees are not able to be upgraded right the normal minecraft bees cannot be upgraded which sucks because that actually would be super helpful but, you know, we just kind of deal with what we got. Um, and I'm kind of wondering, if we were to get a block upgrade here, which we need a productivity beta, which requires four alphas. Yeah, so these are stupidly expensive, first off. Like, the, the upgrades are stupidly expensive and superly, and like, definitely a lot more involved than I was hoping. But, um, you know, the bees are, problem, are the issue. And I think we could try and just get another setup, see if that might work with productive bees. I don't know, because um, there's technically no day or night cycle in the nether. Might be something we have to look into. Um, but you can convert honeycombs into um, honey, which then can be bottled or squished, either or. Uh, that is probably a good option. I don't know. We'll look into it. So, what are we going to do this episode, besides ramble? Um... Really, I'm not 100% sure on all the things we want to do. But I know we want to get this honeycomb, uh, the actual power centrifuge, put over here. Uh, I think what we'll do... And I could probably actually soul search this centrifuge. Um, let's take these out. 
And let's go put this over here. Uh, we're going to need a flux point. And we may just want to put this right here, actually, just so that way we could put a surge on it if we wanted to. Okay, and then we have two speed upgrades. And then what we're going to try and do here is basically take out of this barrel, take out of this barrel, grab some pipes. And we're going to come into this side. And we're going to do... Do to do. We're going to grab out honeycomb and draconic comb, right? Just because we want to basically convert the honeycomb into honey. And then that can actually be filtered out of the centrifuge as well. So then same thing here. Uh, honeycomb, draconic comb. Pipe that in here. And then... Uh, just setting the power to this, right? Perfect. So that should, of course, then produce. And then what are we going to do next? We need to get the bottler brought over there. Uh, let's grab a couple pipe upgrades. Not a bad idea. And then... Or I'd probably just do this. Bottler. Um, probably right here. Because I might want to soul search that as well if we can. That might speed things up. But I don't even know if that's necessary. Okay. And then of course we're going to want to put some bottles in here. We really need to get like automated bottle production set up over here or something. I mean, it wouldn't be that hard. I just haven't done anything like that yet. And then we're going to grab a... Uh, let's see, take this off. Okay, and we can actually just set a barrel here that then takes out of both. Where is my item pipes? There they are. So then we're going to do that, and then we're going to do that, and that should basically just give us all outputs. Uh, honeycomb will take out of this. Draconic dust. So let's put the honeycombs in here. Just all the types we have. Okay. So that should be good with our draconic. So we should kind of have that fully figured out. Um, can I make more of these speed upgrades? Need more honey treats. Can I grab some from you? I can. So one, two. Okay. So that's going to speed that up, which is fantastic. Uh, draconic. 13 draconic chunks. Let's take these out of there as well. And then let's let's try and actually get uh, bottle crafting up here. So we need sandstone, uh, which I think we need chiseled sandstone, don't we? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, to make glass or to make sand. But then we can make glass here in a second. So auto smelt, uh, smelt. I thought there was an enchant in here. Yeah, auto smelt from cyclic. Do we have anything with auto smelt on it? I don't think we do. Actually, I th I'm pretty sure we did. We have like a shovel or something that has it on there, don't we? XP, experience boost. Okay, let me look and see if I have one. All right, so let's get this going here. Um, what we're going to do is probably set this up. I guess we could just kind of set this up down here. Worst case scenario, we kind of have to ender chest it up there. Uh, let's see. Are we in a chunk? Yes, we are. Okay. So let's get this going here. So the chunk boundaries right over here. All right. So we're just going to do uh, glass production, which is the 
cut or chiseled sandstone pedestal material generator. I sped this thing up, so that is another thing to think about. And we're going to just set a netherite furnace on top, uh, flux point on the back. We're going to say digital mining. We're going to get this factory augment and a speed augment. And then we're going to say we're going to pull from the bottom. Uh, input on the bottom, output on the top. And we're going to grab a sequential fabricator. Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter. You could probably use any kind of crafter. Sequential fabricators which just came to mind for me. So we're just going to use that. And then machine frame, 10 gear. Okay. And then we're going to put this on top. We're going to grab glass out of here. Turn on auto split. Might as well. Uh, that is going to be a glass bottle recipe. We're going to click that check mark. We're then going to say on the bottom is input, on the top is output. Okay. Um, and then we're going to grab a pipe here. Okay. Um, and this doesn't look like it's the fastest in the world, but that'll be okay. We're just going to grab an ender chest. It's probably an eyesore a little bit, but that's all right. So then we'll just grab green petals. One, two. Set this here, set this here. So that top one, top one. There's our output. Very simple. Very, you know, not really too, too much to this. Uh, what we could also do is with the sequential fabricator is get a component uh, from thermal which is the uh, hardened integral component or the reinforced or the resonant this will speed this up um i mean we could quickly do that if we really wanted to nothing too expensive with it there we go and then if we wanted to look at the electrum one we would need to get signalum so we won't do that but yeah that'll just speed it up enough for a pretty decent portion of that, so that's okay. And then let's grab the ender chest here, and let's go place this. Where do we want to place this? Because I know um, we're probably going to use more than one of these bottlers, but for right now, nope, I kind of want to place this on the ground. Not really on the ground, but like flat, just like that. And then we can grab pipes. Uh, item pipes we already have. And let's just grab 10 of those. Probably don't need 10 of those, but that's okay. And then we'll do this, do that. So that should solve the bottler problem. Of not having glass bottles. Okay. Perfect. Alright, so... Kind of our next thing is kind of getting some flowers. Um, how do we want to get flowers? Uh, there's quite a few options to get flowers, especially because we have thermal in here. We could look at the phytogenic insulator, uh, which is this piece right here. Insulator, not isolator. Um, and this could result in uh, getting more flowers overall. It can. Uh, it is a slower process, but if we were to look at potentially getting... A soul surge. I had to think of the name for a second, even though I was looking at it. Um, we could speed that up and just have flowers. But the only issue that I've run into is I don't know how we actually auto-input flowers into this. Because I've tried with the hopper, but I haven't tried with this method. So let's go for... What flowers do we have in here? So yellow mystical flowers. Okay, we don't have any yellow mystical flowers. So let's just take out six and six. So if I toss these in here, is it going to know where to put them? Okay, it is. So, hopper doesn't work, but this does. Perfect. So, if we were to get a phyto... Phyto grow? No. Phytogenic insulator. Uh, we need lumium, which isn't that hard, because we're just going to use fire charges. Uh, let's grab a 10 gear. Let's get the machine frame. That machine frame can then get us almost the phyto phytogenic insulator. There we go. And then we can place this down. And on the config in this, let's do back is output. And the top 
is input because we're going to need a sink for this by the way it does need water so we'll do that and then let's grab a sink or a water block if we have one doesn't matter which just an infinite source of water that can be pulled out of basically okay um and it looks like it's going to be fighting me a little bit yeah it's a little slow but we shouldn't get this thing too fast uh component Get another gold gear. Get the hardened integral component. Fantastic. And that should... Oh, it actually does increase the amount of water you can have in here, too. I did not know that. I've actually never looked at that. Uh, but that's a good thing. Okay. Um, and then let's grab one of these flowers out. Can I use Batania's flowers? I was kind of thinking I couldn't, and it looks like I can't. So we could go for poppies. Um, you just need power. Actually, we could just grab pipes, because we have a power line down here. So that should start cruising. Um, if we wanted to get a surge, a soul surge, so I have enough to do that. So at souls, we just may need to get a handful more soul pipes. Um, I think what we could try and do is kind of run this under... And then out the side. It's a little not... It's not that clean, that is for sure. I will not disagree on that. But it'll work for now. Uh, and actually, I guess we're going to need to technically go out to this side, aren't we? I do like that that's a limitation. Because it really has to make you think what where you can actually place this, right? Okay. Not the prettiest, but it's working, okay? Um, and then what we can do is we could take out these flowers and we could put those mystical ones in there. And then our cages um, is the next thing I want to look at. Which I have 16, so that should work. Next thing we need to look at is honey treats. How do we get more honey treats? So honey treats are actually a ingredient... That is kind of a little bit more pain in the rear to get because you do need those those uh, bottled honey or uh, honeycombs. But we do need actual honeycombs. So that might be an issue. So let's actually try doing a remove on that. Um, we'll get a handful, but we won't get a whole lot. And that's okay. I guess I kind of need to bottle, put bottles in these guys as well. forgot about that eh, okay um but the th main thing is these guys don't produce honeycombs it's just these guys and they really suck at it um and is there uh, we don't fully so honey plus honeycomb would give us honey treats uh, but that is a bottler So if we were to do I'm trying to think of how I want to do this because I just I don't have any bees that are good for this for honeycomb production. So what I think we're going to do is panic. Let me think. Because we're basically using all of the honeycomb we get out of these. So if we just stop. Even if we just get a handful every so often. Um, but that is only one honey treat though, isn't it? One per one, four per four basically. Uh, and I have 422 honeycombs. So if I just do this for now, I don't think we'll automate that. I think that that is just an issue um, that we'll have to come across or, you know, figure out in a little while. Uh, is there, where's the honey from productive bees? Is there a good recipe for this? 
So of course, just normal honeycomb uh, mixing from Create. Basically, every single comb gives us a certain amount of honey, which is 50 millibuckets. It doesn't look like there's any more than 50 millibuckets at a time. Um... Actually, less out of that one. Yeah, so just the normal honeycomb gives us a hundred. Yeah, I don't like that, but that's all I think we've got. Okay. Um. Yeah. For now, we'll just we'll keep it manual, and we'll just grab, you know, 128 or so per, and uh, you know, we'll keep them breeding. The problem is, is they also use 20 per breeding cycle. That's the other thing. It's uh, not a whole, it's not a lot, even 128, it goes quickly. Uh, even if we were to still trade with this guy over here, it's still gonna be pretty insane. Okay, that's fine. So we've got a few things figured out here, right? We've got the ability to make flowers. Um, and I actually forgot to grab one thing. There is an item in Thermal. Uh, augment. That should keep us in, up and going. Uh, what is it called? I know I had, I had problems with this uh, last time I looked at this because it changed its name. Uh, cyclical reprocessing. Products may be transferred to input on process completion. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, it's this thing. So let's see if we can get this. Okay, so we need to go through that. Okay, so there's a little bit more work that needs to be done. Um, which that was this item here. Which we need a multi-servo press. Which requires Constantinian. And then... We'll bookmark that real quick. So that is two Constantinian gears. That is a redstone flux coil, a 10 gear, and then a machine frame. That should give us a multi-servo press. And if we quickly look at a hardened integral component. Oop, out of Envar again. And also gold gears. I like how they haven't changed that. So it's a little bit more difficult to get these gears, but you know, just an interesting, uh, interesting idea to just keep those in there. I mean, they are a little bit more expensive, so it's a little bit harder to get them. Okay, so we're just gonna place this here. Uh, we're gonna grab what metals do we need? So we need Constantinian and silver. So silver, Constantinian. 32 and 32, and I will be right back here in a second. Okay, so we've got all of those. Now we want to just get the cyclical processing, which requires signalum. Uh, we can do signalum. Oh, we're out of fire charges. Not anymore. I actually never really use fire charges unless it comes to crafting recipes. Very, very rarely. So two of those, and then a redstone servo. So cyclical processing, this should complete that flower processing. Uh, where are we at? Over here? Kind of forgot for a second. So that should just go in there. Uh, that should be good. And then we can throw our poppy back in there. And that should, basically, whenever it processes, it'll then throw a new one back into the input. And then whatever is on the output will be thrown into the uh, output section, right? So that is something fantastic. Uh, we have six more K or six more bees. How many did we actually get from that initial uh, processing? So we've got uh, very high. So we got six of those. We've got seven any, and these are hundred percent. And then Metaternal, we have five. So that's a pretty decent amount. That's another beehive uh, full of bees that we can put on there. Um, let's see here. There is also, uh, what is it called? Growth craft, uh, that actually adds, like, apiaries and stuff. I'm kind of curious about that. 
honey mead must. I don't think I'd want to do mead though. You can make like little beeswax, that's interesting. But is there a way to just make honey? So you could press a full honeycomb in a press, press, I would assume it's called a press. Uh, but we just need a bee box. I don't know, let's, let's look at that. So we've got an oak bee box. What do we what do we got here? Okay, so we need to get empty honeycombs. How do we get those? So we need to go into this process of a brew kettle. Interesting. Uh, unless we have some. Because I have a handful of bees. But I don't have any combs. So, what is that? Empty comb? So, let's bookmark that. And let's look at a brew kettle. So, a brew kettle. Perfect. So, this... What the heck? It's got the trapdoor sound. Is that the trapdoor sound? The metal trapdoor? Uh, let's grab a sink. Let's grab a pipe, pipe, and then let's do that, do that, and then I'm going to grab some coal. Oh, we need to pipe the water in as we put the items in. Okay, that makes things a little bit more interesting. So let's grab some honeycomb. Okay, and then it looks like I may need to figure out how we put coal in this thing. Okay, do we light a fire under it? Uh, flint and steel. Okay, and then we can let this go. No. Okay, so I may need to just manually put the water in. Okay, that's a okay. Let's put this back down. Let's light a fire. So let's just get this set next to it. Grab a water bucket. So let's put the honeycomb back in here. Looks like the honeycomb actually got destroyed. Kind of sad, but that's okay. So that should start going. Yeah, there's a very small percentage being made. Okay. So then we've got these. Okay, so it actually looks like they produce over time. Okay, I, so I didn't need to make them. But I can speed this process up by doing this. That is fine by me. We can also do something with this meat, I would assume. Okay. A oh, honey mead must. Genuinely, no idea. I don't know what you do with honey mead must. Honey mead must. So we can actually ferment this inside of a fermenting barrel uh, if we wanted to. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if we'll do anything with that, but that's interesting. <laughs> There's a whole like brewing mod in here, and I knew that. I just I completely have no idea what to do with it. Okay, so we can't pull out of it. So what I should be able to do is turn this into bucket mode. How do I do that again? So shift and scroll. Okay, so bucket mode. 
there's something in here. No, it's empty. So let's turn bucket mode off and we'll just do it this way. Okay, so yeah, they're becoming full honeycombs. And then that can be pressed. So press. Um, growth press. So we've got a fruit press. Is that what we're talking about? Got a little piston on it. That's so cool. So then we can press these. Or is that not what we're looking at? Um, so I need to shift click on this thing. Oh, that is strange. Having a shift click to open an inventory. I do have to say that's a little odd. Okay, so we should be able to watch for drainage particles until completed. I'm so confused. Watch for drainage particles until completed. So 30 seconds. So yeah, we just need to provide... I love this. This is like actually a really interesting concept because it's not normal. <laughs> Genuinely, it's very not normal. Okay, so that's what it means. Is that, like, after a certain amount of time, it'll actually smush it. Man, that is so cool. Doesn't look like we actually can do anything with the honey, though. Well, crap. <laughs> that might be a problem. If we can't do anything with the honey, there's no point in doing this, right? Uh, shucks. There's got to be something you can do with honey. There wouldn't have bees in here for no reason. I just deleted those bees. Shift clicking into that. I just deleted those. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's cool to look at. But yeah, there's no point. I was trying to see if we could do honey that way. Apparently we can't because there's no use for it. Uh, unless we can bottle it. I mean, that might just be me thinking out loud here. Uh, and we can't... Can we pipe out of this? Uh, tank. What do we got in the way of tanks? Deep resonance. Do we have one more in here? No, I can't even pick it up with a bottle. Um, well, that's a really weird thing. Is that actually going to bottle it? Or did I just put that in there and it's going to break things? Okay, yeah, that is not compatible. That's probably a bug, I would think. But yeah, I think we're going to wrap that one up here. So hopefully next week we will have a focus on everything other than bees because this is kind of boring, genuinely. I'm trying to make it interesting, but it is overall just, you know, waiting, bee production, all of that stuff. I'm glad we could get the combs for the draconic stuff automated because overall that is the worst part of getting those upgrades is getting all of the draconic dust. And we have 10 bees that are basically running 24-7, um, which is going to add to the success of this whole thing. Uh, hopefully next episode... 
we will uh, get a little bit more into maybe getting an upgrade. I will look into auto crafting them because there's no way I'm crafting all of those. But thank you guys. Stay awesome. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye bye.